What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 20 of our Python with NLTK for Natural Language Processing tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about doing some live sentiment analysis now. So what better place to do live sentiment analysis than Twitter because stuff is just coming through pretty quick. So the Twitter API, they have a streaming API and you can connect to it for I think it's like 1% of the Twitter firehose which is actually a lot of tweets. Uh, it's like probably like 500 million a day on average now so maybe even more but anyway uh, so we're gonna talk about how to connect to that luckily I have a tutorial on that as well uh, we're just gonna copy and paste the source code from that but I do have a tutorial on it uh, and so we'll get that we'll get connected we'll show how to connect our module to that and we'll actually show a decent example of streaming some information so uh, and judging sentiment on it so let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, uh, you want to come to pythonprogramming.net, click on Start Learning, and we're going to look. And it should be a data analysis, possibly MySQL, and then we get tweets. Uh, so there's that, and then we're going to streaming tweets from Twitter. I'll try to put this link in the description. If I forget, I'll just just let me know, and I'll paste this whole link in the description, so y'all don't have to navigate around trying to find this specific tutorial. But anyway, coming down, let me get rid of these stupid ads. <laughs> coming on down here, who put these ads on the site? Seriously, coming on down. Uh, what we're interested in is uh, this code right here. So come to the very bottom, right before the end of the dashboard, and we're going to take all of this here and let's just copy that. Come over to uh, a blank file and paste. So this is the source code required. Although we're not going to be saving to a uh, uh, MySQL database we don't need this either and we don't need the username we don't need con.commit and we don't need username tweet either we can just print the tweet for now uh, return true that's fine and fix this for Python 3 and we aren't gonna need this MySQL DB uh, time I don't think we need that we'll leave that there that might be in one of the air no it's not there so we don't need time and that's that. So uh, next up, how do you get your C key, C secret, A token, A secret, all that stuff? Let's come back over here and come on up to the top. Here is the link to the Twitter apps. It's kind of annoying how to figure out how to get there because if you go to like dev.twitter.com, like dev.twitter.com, at least last time it was like, yeah, it's like this fabric stuff and you're like, okay, how do I get to the Twitter apps? <laughs> you know. So anyway, uh, you'll head to this apps.twitter.com, create an app. Unfortunately, uh, now you have to tie your phone to your Twitter account if you do the, if you need access to the Twitter streaming API. It's kind of silly, but uh, you have to do it now. I found that out yesterday when I made a new key for this tutorial. Uh, but anyway, you'll have to do that. And whenever you're done, I suggest you go to your Twitter uh, profile and you uncheck like everything, every notification. Otherwise, they're just going to blow up your phone with texts. So, sorry, but that's just the way it is. Price you got to pay for uh, the free streaming data. Now, uh, moving on, what we're going to do is that should be that. Oh, and when you create it, man, I'm having a hard. Let me think here. Well, when you, I just don't want to show my keys. Let me let me go up here. Let me go to apps.twitter.com uh, or app. Let's see apps. Sorry, I just have to take this off screen because I don't want to show my stuff. Um, so you'll come to apps. You'll hit create new app. Here we go. And you'll just name your app. Do whatever you want to name it. At give it a, a description. Website. Uh, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do. Uh, Pythonprogramming.net. That's fine. You don't need a callback URL. Agree to their terms of service and uh, create your application. So here's the application. We're done. I've got this epic app name. Uh, and then you come down here and let's see. What are we looking for? We're looking for keys and access tokens. I swear they've changed this since I last looked at it like yesterday. <laughs> anyway, uh, so here's my consumer key, my consumer secret. And then we come down here, and then we want to create access tokens. So this is your again your C key and your C secret for like right over here. And then you come down here, and we click on create my access token. Great. Come on down here. Boom. Now you've got an access token, access secret. Fabulous. I'm gonna revoke those so y'all don't use my stuff. And uh, let's close this. 
and you'll fill those values all into here. Now, I'm not gonna show my values because that would be stupid, but what I'm gonna do is just do this. From Twitter API stuff, import everything. You do not do this, okay? You're not gonna have this. I just stored these values in my own little Python file and I'll just import them. That way I, no one gets to see my stuff. So, once you've done that, now uh, you're ready to stream data. So up to this point, uh, this should connect. So first, let's let's go ahead and stream it. Let's we'll leave car. That's fine. Uh, and that looks good. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's see what happens. There we go. So we uh, okay. So meet Craig. Blah blah. We started to get some tweets, and then we got disconnected. Uh, let me do return true. Let's do a time sleep. I'm not really sure why we get disconnected. This was happening to me yesterday. It's really irritating. It might be because these special characters, maybe? I don't know. I'm not. This is like the most annoying error to see because it's like no active exception to raise, but we disconnected. It might just be my internet or something. I've never had this problem before yesterday. So hopefully it's not happening to y'all, but it's definitely happening to me. Uh, let's change this. Let's, I don't know. Obama. Let's just pick a different word, maybe. Normally this streams for a really long time. I'm uh, I don't know why this is happening to me. It's so very sad. Hmm. Uh. Well, the show must go on. Uh. So if this is happening to y'all, let me know. And also, if you know how to fix for this, that would be great. Streaming that I just updated this package, so I know it can't be anything. Like that needs to be updated, but anyway, we'll come over here. I'm guessing it's my internet cutting out, but I'm not positive. The streaming API takes up a ton of RAM and um, yeah, mostly RAM, but also processing. This streaming API is so heavy. If you have to like uh, use like a VPS or something, you have to pay a lot of money because it's just like this takes up so much. Anyway, let's go ahead and do import uh, sentiment mod as s we'll bring that in and then we're gonna come on down to here and remember that sentiment function now returns two things it returns the uh, sentiment as positive or negative and it returns um, the confidence so we'll come on down here we'll get rid of sleep well I guess we can keep printing this tweet I really wish I knew what this error was there's like nothing I don't know what to do about no active exception to re-raise what does that even mean <laughs> it's like, come on. Um, let's see if we can see where it failed even. Let's see. Fail, uh, found. Okay, so it's failing at this point. Um, part of me just wants to, like, encase everything in, like, one big-ass try and accept or something. Like, just pass these exceptions. Uh, anyway, moving on. So at this point, we get the tweet. So what do we need to do? Well, we just can do this. We can say, basically, sentiment value, comma, uh, confidence sentiment value confidence equals s dot sentiment and we want to gather the sentiment on the tweet easy enough so now we should have pause neg or, or positive or negative and then also a confidence level we have five algorithms that we're using here so that would be either 100% confidence 80% confidence or 60% confidence anything lower than that and the vote would have been the other way so <laughs> those are your only choices so now what we can do is let's go ahead and we'll actually let's keep print tweet. So we'll print this tweet. Uh, we'll print the tweet. We'll print sentiment value. And then we'll print confidence in that value. And then let's say if confidence is, if, if confidence times 100, rather, confidence times 100 is greater than or equal to 80. Let's just use that for now. Um, great. We're going to say that's a good tweet. And now let's output the, the value. So, uh, we'll save an output file, so we'll say output equals open. We're going to open Twitter out.txt. We're going to open it with the intention to append, and then we're going to say output.write. We want to write sentiment value. We're also going to do output uh, dot write new line, and then we will do output dot close. Okay, so here, well, if the value is, if the, if the confidence is greater than 80, or greater than or equal to 80, so 
basically if there was four or more votes in favor of the, the, the sentiment value, uh, we're going to save that and say, okay, that's a confidence, good confidence. And uh, we'll save that to our Twitter output file. And then in the next video, we'll be talking about how we can connect to this Twitter output file with some matplotlib and graph this stuff live. Now, I'm still really bummed about this, this connecting nonsense. Um, it really shouldn't be happening. I wish I could, I wish I knew why. Um, now it's not even running. There we go, I got a full length. Oh, that was because we imported. Uh, well, at least we're getting further than a few. It's probably the uh, the time delay or something. Anyway, so this is pretty. This is at least longer than it was before. So yay! Um, anyway, so here we have a bunch of ratings. Here it's streaming along. So everything looks to be hunky dory. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let's see. On error print status. I don't even think that's even happening. Really. I want to mm, class. Let's see, what if I did, let's just encase this in a try, except, <laughs> except for turn <laughs> uh, Um, You probably shouldn't copy that if, if, if you're having issues, but I just, I, I haven't like looked too deeply into the Twitter API, uh, or this Twitter uh, Tweepy module, but I wonder if this will solve our problem. I'm guessing if it returns false, that's a bad thing, but um, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, we'll cut it off here. Hopefully, you guys aren't having this stupid disconnect issue. I will say, if you are disconnecting a lot and reconnecting with the Twitter API, they will they will shut you down. <laughs> they do not appreciate that because it's a streaming API. You're not supposed to be reconnecting. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you keep reconnecting, if you're having an error and you keep reconnecting like really really fast. Uh, they're going to throw you an error. I forget what the error code is, but just know that that's a possibility. Anyway, that's that. We're going to shut this down now, and uh, stay tuned to the next video where I should be graphing this stuff, so that'll be exciting. Uh, questions or comments below. If you happen to know how to solve that annoying error, let me know, although we're not seeing it yet. Last time I said that, it popped up immediately, so who knows. <laughs> anyway, uh, stay tuned to the next video. Questions or comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time.